Hello everybody, Will Henson here, and today we're going to do a little lesson on Global War 2nd Edition. As you can see, the brand new Global War 2nd Edition map in its glory here. We're going to talk about Lend-Lease, and in this example I'm going to show you how to Lend-Lease a military unit. It's looking bad for Russia over here, and so the United States has decided it would be practical to Lend-Lease an armor unit to the Soviet Union. This is something they would have purpose-built during their um, production phase, and now that it's their place units phase, they're going to attempt to place it in Russia. Now, according to the Lend-Lease rules, which you should read, the Lend-Lease has to follow the shortest path in sea zones along a supply path to the receiving country. So you'll recall a supply path can either go along railroad lines, as shown uh, here on the map, those are railroads, or from port to port. That's a shipyard, which is also a port. So we're going to just go ahead and see what our options are for tracing Lend-Lease. So if this is going to get delivered to the Russians, it could go over here to Murmansk. But as you can see, the shortest route to Murmansk has two enemy submarines, which get interdiction rolls against that, um, that armor. So that's probably not a great way. There is a surface vessel there, but that doesn't matter because surface vessels can't interdict Lend-Lease. We could try to trace to the port in Leningrad. However, the Germans control the Danish Straits, and so they're closed. We could also try and go to the naval base at uh, in the Black Sea in Crimea, but the Turkish Straits are also closed to belligerents. So our only other option, really, is to come all the way over here to San Francisco, railing it across the country, going from this port all the way to the port in Vladivostok. Now, unless... The Soviet Union is at war with the Japanese. This isn't going to matter. We can go ahead <clears throat> and trace our supply path across the ocean. And as you will read in the rules, a Lend-Lease unit stops moving when it reaches the home country. So there it is. It would have been much more advantageous to us to place it closer to the front. But in our next turn, it is going to be a Soviet unit and it can rail all the way to the front. And that is the Lend-Lease example. Some of the other things you might notice just about Lend-Lease to the Soviet Union are that, first of all, um, as the Allies did in World War II, you could try to go through Iran. There, uh, if you were able to get a port into Iran, uh, you could place a port here if you took over Iran. Um, but then you don't have a rail line here. Um, in, future, in future expansions, we'll allow you to build one. You also could go into India, but you can't get over the Himalayas here. Uh, and there's no railway up through here, so that's not going to work. Um, you could get into French Indochina, uh, and, but there's no railway that goes all the way to Russia. A lot of that's controlled by the Japanese. Um, so, there we go. That is our uh, Lend-Lease example. Hope you enjoyed it.